So today is raccoon day. I'm gonna use this silhouette of a raccoon and we're gonna do something a little different with our inside thing. Lots of black, you may wanna grab a Sharpie. But we're yeah. going to be a little more careful with our tree shapes. We haven't been doing tree shapes this detailed before. Petal focus, there we go. And just using black and white, we're gonna do this kind of layering, kind of an Oreo cookie it. effect. Yeah, I we're gonna try it. that out. So let's go back to our raccoon here and switch over to my paper. I'm gonna grab a pencil first, just in case my outline doesn't come out quite right. I can still erase it. Just I'll use my mechanical pencil. My other pencil disappeared. Here we go. Can I get both of them on here? I don't think so. That cord is annoying too, but otherwise I can't hear you guys. So I'm going to start with this nice rounded shape right at the back or of the raccoon's back. Does that show up? Not really. How about if I darken my camera? Nope, not really. How about if I open my window? Maybe better. Going for that rounded back and then swooping down into the tail shape. Just the really big general shape. Not worrying about the stripes or anything yet. And then if we ignore the ear for a moment, we can see a classic shape that we use a lot where it's pointy on one side and more rounded on the other. So down here with the head, I'm gonna add kind of my raindrop shape. Watch Zootopia live? Oh, never Zootopia? mind. No, I misread it. Oh, the Zoomtopia. Yeah, I saw that too. I got that email and promptly deleted it. <laughs> then for- Is this the update thing you were telling me about? What update thing are you talking about? That uh, Kristen sent me. I don't think she sent it to you yet. So I haven't sent it because I have to go back and look for it. I have no idea really. I just remember I got it, but I don't remember where it is. Okay. I will find okay, it. maybe if I look in my email. It isn't there yet. <laughs> tomorrow. Watch for it tomorrow. This first leg is going to be a long special and offer ends soon. It's free. Giving my raccoon a little foot and then thickening up the leg a little bit. Keeping everything real general. And the other leg is going to have some claw details, but first we're just going to look at the big shapes being the fur, kind of this rounded shape up at the top. And then the foot coming out from there. Ignore the toes at first, just give myself a rounded shape. And then I can add the toes to that shape. Starting off again, rounded on the bottom, straight lines on the top. Do three toes. And then I will add claws, some little points on the end of each toe there. And if you can fit this bump on the top, that's the other toe on the other side. Might be able to squeak that in there. It's a little high. Let's 
going to be overlapped by the other toes. Let me zoom into that part. We don't want that last toe flying up. It's going to be behind some of these other toes. So we won't be able to see the whole silhouette. And even though our inspiration image doesn't have very much definition on this front foot, this looks a little too plain to me. It so looks awful. Gonna... Yeah, let's yeah. fix it. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add a few toe shapes and some claws on this side as well. little thumb claw there. Yo! Yay, it worked! All right. Success. Hey, so I we like do it. have to have the latest version of Zoom. Okay. How do you do that? You don't need me. Perfect. <laughs> I just went to the website and like three, like press the download button. That worked. You download it then, yeah. Well, good for you because I like to see that. You don't need to be helped. You can help yourself. That's right. Self-sufficient. I wonder if I change it in my app live, will it change? Will it change? Yeah, try it out. Well, now I wonder if you hover over the participants or your own little icon there, if it'll just have it in that menu, because it does in mine. I can change my little profile picture at any time. Well, we don't have that menu anymore once we've okay. done your... Um, Once we're in your your class, I don't think we can do it anymore. Yes, I can edit profile picture. Oh my gosh, I can change. Oh wow, I can change it. <laughs> All right. Can change it this oh, second. We can do it for every class. We can do it for every class. Oh Amazing. my god. Okay, everybody needs one of these. <laughs> so you can see, there's almost like a mountain shape right in between the front leg and the back leg. So I'm going to imitate that. And we've got a very large flat foot here, looks like plantar. What do we call that? There's digigrade and plantigrade when we're doing our anthros. And at this moment, it looks like this raccoon is walking on his whole foot. He has only one back leg, how hard. Yeah, it's only showing us one back leg. If you feel like your drawing would benefit from another back leg, go ahead and put it in. Yep, there it I is. Drew. Hey, look at that. Amazing. It's different now. That's cool. <laughs> Fun. My tail got a little bit short, so I'm going to go ahead and lengthen it out a bit. Curving up isn't what I the thing I had to do to get this to work was I downloaded it and then instead of opening it in the in my um, in my Internet Explorer, instead I opened it from the app I have installed from the computer. Oh, from the app. So that worked. I think raccoons tend to hang their tails. You know, now that I think about it, like. Go ahead. I should. I should probably edit, like, well, like get that picture edited of that cat girl because she's saved in the cloud, not in my computer, and this thing is not ac cloud accessible. Aww. But yeah, get your character up there so we can see our characters for Dungeons and Dragons. I think I should make this foot a wee bit longer.
and add some ears, or at least one ear in this profile view. I'll shape the head a little bit by giving it this little bit of an eyebrow or a brow ridge. Shape the nose nice and pointed, a little bit of the mouth. Let me zoom in on here. And that little bit of her fur spiking off the cheek there. I think I maybe put my ears too far forward. Let's move those back a bit. My raccoon head got a little short and chubby. This one seems to be more long and lean. So I'm going to fix that while I can with my pencil. Wait, am I supposed to shave it as a PNG or a JPEG? I always forget. I don't think it matters. Yeah, JPEG. And then I'm going to go ahead and sketch out the tail rings because as you see, we're using some lost and found edges here where there's no actual outline on this tail. It's just sections of black and sections of white. But to make sure that they line up, we're gonna give ourselves this guideline and separate out the stripes starting with the tip of the tail, I think is almost always dark. And a little further away, can make another stripe and it can be jaggedly edged to show the fur texture. I'm also going to give myself a little X in the ones that are going to be black so that I don't get confused. It's very easy to get confused. Whoops, right now I have it where the body's going to end up being white and I don't want that. That one's black, this one's white. And then this one will be black. Oops, I may have saved it a little too small, but I can change that. There she is. <laughs> Super duper. <laughs> yeah. The fact that we can change these during our classes. Yeah, really, during our class. We're going to have a lot of fun. Get every NPC ready. You just swap them as you're talking to different people. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take off my extra pencil. Now that I'm happy with my outline, my silhouette. Oh, do I want another back leg? Nah, it's okay. And grab one of my inking pens. And I'm going to start with that tail. Since they are in separate sections. Turning my paper to where it's most comfortable. Let's outline that. Ink a little X.
and change it just one more time. <laughs> okay, now I'm done. So fun, huh? Oh, look, it's so cute. Oh my yeah. gosh, you have choices. I'm going to have to just collect a bunch of my pictures that I want to use. Yeah, I download a lot of pictures that I like, so that way, you know, if I ever like, you know, like looking for inspiration, I can go find them again. Especially because it's so hard to re-find things on Twitter. It's like whenever yeah. I find something yeah. I like, I just like wait until... So I use Pinterest for. I'm always pinging things. Find it later. Okay, now I've got to force myself to stop. <laughs> it's fun, yeah. I might end up changing my name because one thing that makes me really sad is that no one can see my full name. Yeah, just a little bit too long for the little box there. Yeah, they don't let you break the line, apparently, so. You should change your name to Sophie during the game anyway. Yeah. That is true. Oh boy, should I make myself Mickey the Great or Mickey the Terrible? <laughs> I'm sure great. you like more, I think, but I would want to be great more than terrible. I don't know, terrible is pretty funny. Maybe you can trade off. On Wednesdays, you're great, and on Fridays, you're terrible. That works. Oh, I, think I, I can look up like different back there. Lord names. What are the Oh. Okay, now I changed it. I see. We were supposed to use lost and found lines. I screwed up. That's all right. Eh. Yep. That's Feels so good. I just didn't pay attention. That's okay. all right. It's too excited to get drawing. I don't know how it is. Oh, forever love is 
let's pray outside for you. Hey, Betsy, do you use Instagram? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> I look at other people's art on Instagram. I don't post that much, but I'm trying to change that. Yeah. Yeah, Instagram does not want me to download any of these images. Yeah, good. they're real protective of that. Oh, good. Which, yeah. Yet somehow it's a host to a ton of art thieves. Oh, well. I mean, you can screen cap on your phone sometimes, but that's about it. After we've got our tail colored in here, we're going to work on our bottom range of trees. Zoom in on that. Whoop. So we'll probably go ahead and do these trees, skip this space where it goes into the mountains, and then we'll do the trees on the other side so that we can plan out where our mountains are going to be a little easier later. Okay. But for these trees, very uh, kind of Christmas tree shaped, kind of just black blobs, but I want you to see that they do have a very cone-like appearance and they do have some asymmetry, which we love um, when one side is different from the other. So what we're going to do is draw a cone first, but smaller than our actual tree. I don't know if this will show up. Oh yeah, it shows up. If I color in my cone with black ink smaller than the actual tree, then I can go ahead and add the branches on the edge, no problem. But this will help us kind of get our trees set up to be different sizes if we just do all of our cones first. And then we'll add our leaf detail a little bit later. I'll grab my pen again. Oops, wrong way. Let's back it up. Ah, good. There we I go. wondered where he was. <laughs> yeah. So if I want a tree, let's say right here, I'm going to go ahead and put in my little cone. And I want a smaller tree next to it. Got to kind of space it out because remember our branches are going to extend. Maybe I want another tree here and it's overlapped by another tree there. And then maybe there's a little dip or something and there's another tree here. Going to leave a nice big space in the middle for mountains, but I might have a tree somewhere over here. 
And I'm just going to connect across here so that I know where my black is. Maybe one more tree. <laughs> Sounds like my house. Work. Work. I'm going to fill all of that black. So that actually can be, yeah, all the way down the feet, everything, right? Everything down there black. So yeah. we're talking. So the big brush. The big, big brush. Sharpie. I got distracted looking for like a way to download pictures on Instagram. And I found a photo downloader, but I'm kind of scared to press download because I'm scared it'll give me a virus. Yeah. Yeah. Try not to do those suspicious looking ones. If you get a just a screen capture. Apparently I like it's typically it. Yeah, screen capture sucks though, especially cuz cuz Instagram doesn't really crop it very well. Or maybe it does, I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that Instagram has as much art as it does since it's a very tiny tiny portion. Yeah, I wouldn't expect them to be very good quality, and even if you could download them. Yeah. I need a new Sharpie for this one. Yeah, <laughs> lots of black on this one.
Okay, then to make these cones look more like trees, I'm going to first add a skinny little tree topper on here. Just squiggling out. Little shape looks a little bit. There we go, a little bit uneven. Some of that asymmetry. And then I'm going to go ahead and add kind of another little miniature cone to the side here. And go ahead and make that. Bumpy and full of texture. Oh, my pen might be a little thick for this. I've got a five and that is just too thick. I'm going to move to a two. Oh, you're starting on the trees. Yep, starting on my trees. Bump that out, bump that out. I'm trying to make the two sides different. I'm trying to let some of my original cones show every once in a while where I have a gap in between the branches. And then I'll come in with my little bit thicker pin and fill those in. So are all these going to be the same? So it doesn't really matter where we start. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where you start. I'm going to add another little tree topper on there. Make a scratchy edged cone. And have some branches stick out.
lots of little squiggles. With your fun. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see it slowly build up from one tree into a little forest. Just about seven more minutes on the trees and then we'll move to the mountains. Thank you.
Okay, mountains. Mountain. Right above this flat space on my raccoon, I'm going to put my first mountain peak. A little bit of a distance away, maybe another one. Maybe a little closer, another one. Something like that. And as we can see from our inspiration picture, we're gonna have this great big shadow all filled in black, come right up to the top of our middle mountain. So from my tallest mountain here, not touching the top, but very close to it, I'll start sketching a shadow that goes all the way down. I want the other side of the shadow to go very near to the outline. Just kind of follow that edge. And then go ahead and get skinny in some places, thicker in other places. Wiggle your pen all the way down. Might bump into a tree. On the second mountain here, we're going to start again in that middle, not touching, but very close. We're gonna come down. I'm gonna dodge that tree so that I save all my hard work. <laughs> but on the other side, we want to give the illusion that this bigger mountain is in front of this littler mountain. So from this line here, I'm not actually drawing, but from that line, if it were to continue, it would make kind of that little line there. And I'm going to connect that to make my shadow. Then I can go ahead and come back out and wiggle it however I want to all the way down, maybe connect to that one. So that's gonna be black, that's gonna be black. On my third mountain, we're going to have a tree that covers it up and the tree is going to be in white. So this shadow is very small where it just follows the edge, goes down a little bit, but then this is going to all be trees. So it's just a little triangular shadow there. And this second row of trees is going to be in white. So how are we going to do that? Opposite to how we did these. On the bottom, we made small cones and we made them get bigger. This time we're gonna do really big cones and we're going to carve away the uh, branches. So just real quick, I'm gonna demo it because it's a little hard to wrap your head around sometimes. If I have my cone here, the white I'm going to preserve and I'm going to start coloring in the negative space to make my branches. I'll do a quick one here. Coloring all the way around. So you can kind of start to see that tree emerging. All this is gonna be black sky. So that will all merge in so you can see I do need to make my cone bigger than my tree. My tree is going to shrink a lot. And then when I get lots of blacks around it, it's going to even visually, uh, optical illusion shrink more. So my trees here, I'm going to make very large cones. I have one tree here, maybe another tree right by it. Maybe another little mountain, another tree. Over here, we know we're going to have a tree, so I can't start from where my mountain ends. I have to make it bigger than that mountain. There's going to be a tree, maybe another one. You can kind of put trees wherever you want them. And zigzag up and down. Okay. 
all of this is going to be black, or if you want to add stars, you can do that, but that's all sky. I'm going to do one tree over here just so we can see how it works again. I've got my big cone. And if I look down at the trees I've already made, I'm trying to draw this white space basically. So I'm just going to eat away at the edge. I tend to do it pretty spotty, meaning I'm leaving big, big spots in between because I can always adjust them later. It's much harder if I go too crazy at first and then I have no white left chip away at. And you want to kind of be mindful that somewhere in there there is a trunk, so I don't want to make my tree too zigzaggy. ahead and fill in a little of this black around my tree so I can get the full effect. And there we can kind of see it starting to materialize. I'm going to back up. You can kind of see the illusion a little better when we see the whole thing. There we go. Kind of looking like a tree. I might go ahead and add some stars in here just to make it pretty. All that's left is black, 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 black. Fill in all the black. Oh, hey, random question for you guys. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite kind of pizza? Pizza? Vegetarian. Yeah, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Yeah, vegetarian for me too, which is often hard to find a really good one. <laughs> yeah. My favorite is veggie pizza. What? We all love veggie pizza? Look at that. Well, I know what snack yeah. to bring if we're ever playing Dungeons and Dragons in the studio. Yeah, snacks. We've just solved that problem. <laughs> Do you guys uh, have a favorite kind of soda? Water. Yeah, I don't really drink soda. I like orange juice. I, I drink soda sometimes. Water. Always. But yeah, if I'm ever thirsty. Yeah, that is good water. for you. Well, have you guys ever had homemade popcorn? Yes, that's the best. Have had what? The homemade popcorn. You know, it's like it uh, the stove. Air... Is that what you're talking about? No. Oh no! Wait, I misspoke. Sorry, I meant air pop popcorn. Oh, air pop! I've never heard of that. No. Oh, I've heard of it. I haven't had that though. I mean, we have one over here. 
so it's a machine that does it? I mean, you can't just do it on your stovetop, can you? Yeah. No. Basically, it's like a smallish machine. It gives me, uh, like it's like uh, it's a it's a smallish machine. which you got it like essentially it blows really hot air that heats up the popcorn and pops it. It's really cool because so you can like add your own the toppings and stuff. Cool, cool. Yeah, y yeah. You just like pour in like it's either I forget if it's a quarter or a third cup of kernels. It also has like a, like the little measuring cup. It's also like kind of goes on top, mm -hmm. and you can fill it with uh, butter, and it will melt the butter for you. Right. Which is really cool. And one really cool thing that's different from uh, microwave popcorn is it's a lot of a lighter flavor. Like it's a way lighter. Like you can choose how bad you want it. I mean, not that's what I'd expect. And I like. Yeah. No oil. I was going to say. No oil. Yeah, so I can drink it without soda because, like, usually, like, usually popcorn has a really strong flavor, salty flavor that I need to, like, I need to, like, fight it with something else. But with mm -hmm. this popcorn, I can just, like, get some, get some water and eat it like that. Nice. That's what I was going to say. Sounds healthy. Yeah, I'd recommend getting it because you can get these little bottles, I think what they're called, jugs, I don't know, they're little jugs of popcorn kernels, and they're very small, but they make a surprisingly big amount of popcorn. So you have to buy a particular kind of popcorn also to use in that machine? Or can any popcorn? Not really. I'm yeah, I think as long as it's like, yeah, I think I think it's fine. We do get the one that they recommend though, and it's really good. It's like I was gonna say, if you're looking for a healthier alternative, mm -hmm. that's it, basically. Since our microwave broke, we use it all the time. Well, I'm going to assign you when we get back into the studio to bring us some popcorn pop that way so we can try it <laughs> without investing yet in the machine. Okay, but I don't know if I could bring butter. Yeah, like, I don't know, I could bring maybe like salt, but I don't think I could bring like butter. That feels like it's too messy. I agree. Probably. It'll end up on our artwork. We don't yeah. want that. Yeah, oh, all, wait, isn't that illegal? Like, aren't we not allowed to bring home? Well, I don't know if it, that counts as homemade if we just make it there. Well, it's we have it. homemade stuff at our, at our parties and stuff. We just do it. <laughs> <laughs> we I don't know if it's it. legal, but... I don't think it's specifically unlegal. Yeah, good point. I mean, people who have allergies and sensitivities, uh, they kind of have to look out for themselves uh, and ask if they don't know what's in yeah. a particular recipe. Not sure. Oh, one thing we could do is, I guess, like if I brought my popcorn maker, we could always, don't they sell little like flavor bags that you pour onto your popcorn? Like it's got like powder that will like give it like a cheesy flavor or something. Well, I think they have butter flavored salt for popcorn. Hmm. Oh. It's, you know, it's not real butter. Did I did not know that know. existed. I feel like we'd have to bring bowls or something. 
because you can't really control the output of the popcorn. Once it gets going, you have to go quick. So it's just like spit it out? Like, like getting like serving sizes would be a, a bit hard. So like what would we need each need a, a bowl or would we each get like a large I think there's some paper bowls mm -hmm. at the studio so that shouldn't be a problem paper bowls i'm trying to think would the popcorn burn through the paper bowls no nah, i doubt it because nah. i mean the popcorn itself is probably fine but the curdies If it burned paper, it'd also be burning us. I'm gonna decide that's not yeah. a real problem. <laughs> it's a mm -hmm. phony problem. Although, hey, I do recommend it. Like if you ever, ever think like, you know, have a little extra money for something like that, I'd recommend getting it. It's good. Oh, okay. I've had it for like a couple months now, and I don't eat popcorn that often. But it's but this one little jar we've had has lasted all that time. Wow. For the last few months. Yeah, and we have more jars, jars of them. So somewhere I need to look. Light. Yeah, but anyway, basically they last a while, yeah. She always comes over here like after class is done and want and wants to pet it. Yeah, it surprises me how punctual my cats are for certain things. What? Um, how punctual my cats are. And my dog too, actually. Yeah, she knows when it's five o'clock and she should be getting dinner now. So why isn't she? And then she comes and gets somebody. And then one of the cats, whenever we're watching a program on TV, just happens to know that we are and wants to come in the house and lay Watch on somebody's TV. lap. I don't know if all this black is better or worse than stippling. <laughs> I'm using a lot of ink here. Yeah, but hey, it's it's a, just a whole different thing. It's very painstaking. <sighs>
Yeah, you definitely need to buy pens more often doing solid black than stippling. It's a good to use up the pens. They'll just dry up if you don't use them up soon. That's true. Also, bad news, I lost the snake picture. I don't know where it went. The white snake? Yeah, I thought I knew where it was in my computer, but I lost it. Isn't that irritating when there's something you know it was there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was. While the cat is 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 demanding me to pet her, I'm gonna see if I can draw with my non-dominant hand. <laughs> Keep thinking one of these days I'm gonna train nope. myself. Nope, I am. I always give up. Well, you can learn to do it, but yeah. Oh man, I put the second little mountain or the little mountain over on the head. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it looks like an ear. Oh. <laughs> Which I, I'm glad. I think that's just absolutely dynamite, but uh, yeah. <laughs> who knew? It's already 6.20. We have maybe seven minutes left. Give us some time to do a little show and tell gallery walk. doing black for another week, but that's all right. cone method it, it's excellent for getting the them to not be symmetrical yes quite like this big white area I have here, though I think I might either bring these trees up or maybe bring this mountain shadow down. Well, now I have to, well, now it's in the background, so now I'd have to bring up the trees. I guess I'll do that then. Are you going to use outline trees to fill in that spot? Ooh, that looks nice. You're not going to black outlines. Them. I was going to blacken them in, but now I'm thinking you're right. Outline trees look pretty good. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do it. Leave them. I like them. Put one or more in there. Things look better in odd numbers for some reason. There we go.
know, I'm still trying to draw with my left hand and man, you can really tell what I drew with my left hand. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. When I started with the tablet, it felt like I was using my left hand. <laughs> Yeah. I remember when I first did it, I thought, man, that sucked. I'd never do that again. I was wrong. Practice. So valuable. I'm trying to remember when, when did I start to get into the tablet and when did I like it so much I decided I wanted one. Like, like why did I get into the tablet? Yeah, what did you do before I'll... the studio? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to put some little extra trees in the middle because they, they just look nice. Yeah. So I have some big white areas too. Well, <gasps> lots of them. But <laughs> first I'll do the black. Well, it is 627, so we may have to wait and see for your final finished yes. raccoon. <laughs> 